Hi everybody, it's Nandruff with your news cartridge for Friday, February 12th, 2016. A quick correction from yesterday, I had said the developer from Overwatch had gone to Reddit, where I actually meant the developer from Firewatch had gone to Reddit. I corrected this on screen, but I just wanted to be very clear. Thank you very much. XCOM 2 developer Firaxis has explained the caps lock feature I talked about yesterday. Hitting the key forces all outstanding load requests to be filled immediately in a single frame. I, uh, they say that this causes hitching and could cause your game to crash, so gamers might want to think twice about hitting that caps lock key. Battlefield Hardline will receive an expansion in March called Betrayal. The same studio that made Hatred has made a new game in Steam Greenlight called IS Defense. Hopefully they try it harder in the game department and less in the Create Needless Controversy department and made a good game this time. In celebration of Pokemon's 20th anniversary, Nintendo has added Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle avatars to Super Mario Maker. Finally, for teasers, Ubisoft claims that for every $1 PS4 user spent, Xbox users spent $1.25. Kanye West has made a video- WHAT?! KANYE WEST HAS MADE A VIDEO GAME?! I mean, surely that's some sort of joke. Uh, the prompter's telling me to smile and to say news cartridge, but I can't leave it right there, that's not the- Today's top story is that Kanye West has made a video game. You know, I'm not covering this. I'm not doing this. I've, I've done a lot of weird and dumb stuff in my short time here on YouTube, but this draws a line. I am not covering this. What's that? What? But... 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 Kanye showed this trailer during a live stream promoting his new album and said, referring to game development, That's not easy to do, man. Y'all just be acting like this shit is regular, man. He also said that he met some people in San Francisco that dissed the fuck out of him. He responded, and I'm quoting here, I'll be like, I want to make a game. And they'll be like, fuck you. Then he showed this trailer again. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not covering this anymore. This is drivel and possibly the least qualified person to make a video game ever. I'd rather talk about Phil Spencer than Kanye. Uh, crap. Well, Phil Spencer has been talking to Twitter about the news yesterday regarding Quantum Break and it not being an Xbox One exclusive. This has some Xbox players upset, one of them claiming they canceled their pre-order, another claiming that Xbox owners are being punished because they pay to play online and PC gamers don't. That it's not right because we all get the same games. Spencer was also challenged by someone saying there was no reason to buy an Xbox One anymore, and he replied that high-end gaming PCs do not cost the same as a console, something I will attest to. And then followed it up by saying that Microsoft has more focus on Xbox than ever before. This is actually really nice. He's not talking shit, he's being really reasonable. Do I care that it's no longer an Xbox exclusive? No. Do I- would I care if they made an Xbox exclusive again tomorrow? No. You know what I care about? More people playing more games. Xbox owners need to stop whining about this. Quantum Break coming out on PC has no effect on the Xbox version. If anything, PC gamers are affected more so because we usually have to deal with ports of games instead of complete builds. Now, this is not a complaint again because more people playing more games is a good thing, but to, to wrap this all up, more good news about Quantum Break is that it will feature cross-buy, meaning that you'll only have to buy it once on both Xbox and PC, and you own it. And then the PC recommended specs also have also been lowered, with Microsoft stating that the specs displayed yesterday were for ultra settings. If you want to see the new specs, then you can find a link to them in the description down below, as well as links for sources for all of today's stories. 
Up next, the wasteland has gotten a whole lot prettier, as the new patch for Fallout 4 has improved graphical fidelity and reported to not have had any effect on the frame rate of either console platform. Bethesda also states via Twitter, DLC for Fallout 4 isn't very far off, and that the game will see a significant overhaul to the survival mode, a hardcore setting where players have more character effects to worry about while exploring in the nuclear waste-infested wasteland. Specifically, changes to food, sleep, diseases, and danger will be seen. Bethesda themselves recommend that you stay tuned and you can get all of your Fallout 4 information here on News Cartridge. Are you a gamer with a quick and easy 10 million dollars to spend? Yes real life money? Well then, you're in luck, because the makers of Dying Light have gone overboard again by offering a special edition package of Dying Light the following that costs $10 million. I say again because for the initial game they offered a $250,000 edition that came with a zombie-proof house. House. If you spend the 10 mil, then not only do you get four copies of Dying Light Enhanced Edition for you and all of your friends, but you also get a speaking role in the upcoming Dying Light movie. You know what else you could do with $10 million? Make your own movie! Finally for the week, Five Nights at Freddy's World was voluntarily taken down from Steam last month by creator Scott Cawthon. As of today, he has re-uploaded it to Game Jolt for free, and you can find a link to that down below. As of writing this episode, though, Five Nights at Freddy's World has not appeared back on Steam. We shall see if it does. The game has had a bunch of improvements, including a fully 3D modeled overworld, whereas before it had an 8-bit look. Cawthon says that more updates are coming in the future. Try out the new Five Nights at Freddy's World over the weekend, and and tell me what you think about it down in the down in the comments below, not the description. All right, Monday's game releases because I'm gonna enjoy the next two days off for PC. Side Quest, The Ship Remastered, Heliborn, My Name Is Mayo, Super Helmets on Fire DX Ultra Edition Plus Alpha, Zeros, Cube Destroyer, Control Craft Two. Devil, Ceiling Stone, and Downfall. Thank you very much, everybody. This has been News Cartridge. I'm Dandruff. I'll see you on Monday. And how do you know if you're a good farmer in Minecraft? If you're outstanding in your field...